What's going on everybody? EP here with the Signal Diverter and uh, today we're going to take a quick look at my do-it-myself battery powered amp. Uh, I built this several years ago and there are battery powered amps available out there but the selection's really limited and uh, even though I built this one out of hand-cut pine boards and chicken wire. It actually sounds pretty good. I'm just going to give you a really quick rundown right now of why this functions the way that it does and why I like it. So, at the heart of the system is this Hot One Mojo Diamond amp. And this is a 5 watt amp and it requires 18 volt DC current. So, I took a 12 volt battery, a nice big one, and I got a 12 to 18 volt converter and installed those in the back. I had to use the wire that came with the unit because it's got a little something on there that it won't work without that. I couldn't just use a regular plug. But basically with a 12 volt battery, a 12 to 18 volt step up, I can supply this with clean power. And uh, I got a Celestion 10 inch 30 watt amp right here. And this thing will get loud. I mean, this is a real guitar amp. This is a head and cab that you can take anywhere and, and kick it. So let's take a look at some of the other things that are going on here. I'm going to click this off and click this off. And, uh I got this turned down about halfway. That's kind of where it's happy. So now I'm going to give it a little kick in the pants with this Benson preamp here, which just. because I was thinking it would be cool and comfortable and I could shoot under the cloud cover, and under the covering here. There's no clouds and there's no cover. It's like 7.30 in the morning and it's 90 degrees and 100% humidity. All right. So that sounds pretty good. I mean, I'm digging it there. So the Gypsy Haze, It's a little bit much, but the reason I like it is that this system tends to kind of have a howl to it that you really can't get out. Uh, I've got, a, I've got a, a DI and a couple of other things, and it just, uh, especially if you added a reverb to it, it just kind of got a that you just, it, it's just in there and you can't get rid of it. And the Gypsy Haze gives it enough grit that I'm not getting that, that simple tonality to it. A little bit too much fuzz for me, but better than no fuzz at all. So, where the signal is going right now is it's coming out of the Gypsy Haze and it's going into this cabinet here where I've installed jacks with hard wires and I have soldered the end of the hot wires to this 1957 license plate. So the signal is being diverted through the license plate. The reason I built this is when I first came up with the idea of the signal diverter, I, I built a prototype and then I used some uh, license plates. I went to the, the uh, flea market, got license plates to see if they sounded different. And this particular license plate has got just kind of a trashy resonance to it. I, I really can't put my finger on it. You can really hear it if you run the signal into this and then into the preamp. It sounds very distorted. It's a poor quality metal. 
So it's just kind of, it's just kind of just messing with the signal and trashing it up a little bit. So this is it, man. This is my like to-go kit when I'm not on the sentimental gentleman. And it's battery powered. I can take it anywhere. And I'm just gonna have a little fun here. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna crank this volume a little bit, just so you can see like how loud this can actually get here. So.